Hi, I'm Stephen at Mash Radio Telemetry, and today, with the help of Simon, <laughs> hello, we're going to uh, fit some track pack to these young two tiercels that we've uh, got. So, um, before I start, people always ask about why fit track packs. They um, seems pretty obvious that it's the safest place on the bird. They've been pretty much universally adopted all over the world. We've sold thousands of them. Um, but it also gives you a better transmitter signal because the antenna is further away off the ground and it uses the bird to bounce the signal away. So, anyway, this is um, really how to fit the track pack. So I'll get on with it. I'm going to go behind the camera and I'll be asking questions as we go through. It's right, before we get started, we need a bird, mm. obviously. Track pack, which here's one I made earlier. So we'll move that out of the way. We're going to need Araldite. Talcum powder, a knife, scalpel, or a pair of snips or scissors, some super glue, some crimpers or flat nose pliers, something like that, a piece of card with two slits in it about a, a centimetre apart, and another piece of card or paper, something that you can put the araldite on. And then you're going to need a needle with thread. First of all, we take your track pack out of the packaging. And I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but there's a little brass okay. ferrule just on the Teflon ribbon. Focusing. Okay, yeah. We're going to take that off and put it on the table where you're not going to lose it. And then the first part of the track pack measurement process is concerned is you've got to work out the top measurement on the back. So that's from the centre of the back here. Up, you want to just come, come round and have a look? Yeah. And you only need to do this with one side and then just uh, just double it for you, your other side. Your, the track pack, once it's fitted, is going to want to sit here. So it's maybe just below the shoulder line, about there. So I'm just going to take this around the front of the bird, holding it in the middle of the back. And if you want to just zoom in on the front here, Steve. I'll come back around. Holding it fairly tight because it's going to be below the feathers, remember. You're going to find the centre of the keel and go just below the centre of the keel by, what should we say, half a centimetre or thereabouts. And put your thumbnail, well, this is what I do, put your thumbnail on exactly that point and I've got that measurement there now. And that is going to be the first measurement that you take. Okay, so this, this is the, the next stage. Once you've made the length for your cross, cross stitch, yeah. you basically just draw the next one over it, and then you need to do the same thing on the other side of the sure. shoulder strap. Once you've got that first measurement, you, yeah. all you really need to do is just make sure the other one's level yeah. and flat, not kinked. So. Exactly, and then I'm going to get my thumbnail again and put a little imprint in there. So I know where to put your next, yeah, the next stitch is going to go. Where to put so the needle through. The next I thing. used to make the cross stitch at about an X shape. Yeah. Um, and I found that what was happening was it was getting kinked like that. Sure. So what we do now, and it's more, it's a more accepted method, is to make the cross stitch a very, like a lazy X, yeah. almost flat like that. So it's going to go like this across the bird. Yeah. Uh, and it just it just sits a lot a lot straighter. Particularly if you've got your birds well muscled up. <laughs> so we've got the lazy X. It all seems really complex, but it's so it really is so easy. It's just you literally just cross two pieces of uh, of Teflon together. Yeah. And you're just passing the needle back and forth. Through there, out that side, and back this way. So you just push it through, back through, back through, back through. Yeah. And then once you've done it twice, that's plenty there. Uh, and then we just finish it off with a couple of half hitches. Yeah, just to make One. it nice and tight. Now, do you use the uh, super glue? I've, um, I've taken to sort of doing the knots that you've got there, then cutting it, and then just. Uh, you're going to flatten that down and take it with a uh, pair of pliers to squash the knot and then uh, yeah, add absolutely. the super glue afterwards. Yeah, well basically what we've found is um, it's not for strength at all but it's just no. to stop the bird picking at it. Yeah. And what we've found is if we super glue it once we've 
knotted it then and then press it down with a pair of pliers it just sits completely flat so it's less of a less of an easy thing for the bird to mess around with yeah the, the less the birds I'll just cut that a little bit finer i mean the, the, the best sort of thing i always think is if the birds haven't got anything to so that they feel that they're getting some kind of satisfaction or they're getting anywhere with they tend to leave things alone it's a bit like that after i when i first fit the track packs i always leave a transmitter on the actual bird in the track pack because then they tend to go for the uh the transmitter and bite the antenna as opposed to sort of doing any damage to uh, and pulling the track back. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like anything, if you've got a scab and a bit of the edge is sticking up, you're going to want to pick it, aren't you? Pick and pick away. So, just because if you can't see close enough that what's sort of happening is we're just putting a little dab of super glue across the actual knot itself. Uh, it only needs to be a small amount, but super glue actually goes into that Teflon uh, ribbon. Uh, it's got to be Teflon ribbon because it's it makes the whole thing. It's, it's very low, fr it. low <laughs> friction, yeah. So, so there's a bit of super glue. super glue on there, and then we're just gonna put quite a lot of pressure on with the pliers for a few seconds. Hopefully, not sticking the pliers to the Teflon or vice versa. And that's just gonna sit nice and flat on the bird, and that'll go hard and it'll just sit flat with the Teflon. So once you've got your cross stitch, then basically what we're gonna do is pass the trap pack over the bird's head. Put the right braces over the top of the Teflon and the left braces over the top. And now we're really going to try and seat this down a little bit. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do now is just make sure the cross stitch is in the right place. And to do that, you've got to hold the backpack down and in the right position on the back. And we're going to look to see that the cross stitch is A, right in the middle, and B, just below the keel bone. The keel bone's just there. So that's looking pretty close to me. Now the next thing we've got to do is pass each side of the Teflon under each wing. Uh, there's three ways of doing it. Um, one of them is to have the bird on the glove. I th yeah, that's the way I use it. Yeah. That quite okay. Easy. So you have the bird on the glove and you'll have somebody else hold the glove and move the glove down quite, not dead quickly, but quite quickly so the bird Just opens its wings, wings open, yeah. and then you quickly pass the ribbon underneath the wing. The second way of doing it is to do it manually, which I'm going to do now. The third way of doing it is using um, a, a, a big old bent needle, about that sort of length, with the end dulled, and you'll actually just pass it through the same way as I'm going to do it with my hands now. Uh, this bird, as I said before, is not quite hard pen, so it's quite biddable. Um, but if he wasn't, then I would probably use the, the needle. So, okay, so I'm just going to make sure there's no folds in the ribbon no twists which there aren't and I'm just going to hold the Teflon ribbon like this and I'm going to pass it underneath the wing now it doesn't have to be right up under here because you can pull it into position later but I'm just going to do it about like this the most important thing is that you don't get hold of any primaries or secondaries so we've got this passing underneath here and I've got the Teflon ribbon at the back here it's passed under the wing so now I'm just going to pass it can you see here? I'll just zoom in a little bit as well then. Okay. So now I'm just going to pass the ribbon through the back, the bottom part of the track pack. And to hold that, we found the easiest way is to use your little brass ferrule, which you've not lost and you kept in a safe place. <laughs> and just put it on there. And that'll just hold it in the right spot while we do the other side. Yeah, and that really works as well. I mean, it really keeps it in place, even if you've got a bird that isn't quite as, uh, you know, not as well mannered as uh, as this youngster here. But I mean, just to put it in, we actually used a really young, fresh bird because we thought it'd be a more honest way. But uh, it just so happens that this bird is giving a very good account of itself. 